Hello everyone, welcome back. So we are again here to discuss the topic projection of lines. So in the previous videos, I already discussed with you all the three, case, three cases and today I'm going to discuss with you the last case in the projection of lines topic that is line inclined to both the principal planes that is horizontal and vertical plane. So let's see the question first. So this is my question and the question states that line AB 60 mm means the true length is given which is 60 mm has its end A 15 mm in front of VP and 10 mm above HP. So it is very much clear your end A of line AB is in first quadrant. Okay. So the line is at 45 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. So you can see that it is inclined with both the principal planes here 45 with HP and 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections means you are going to draw its front view and top view. Okay, so you can see here this is imagination here and this is my line AB which is 45 degree with HP and 30 degree with VP. Okay, and I already told you that whenever angle is with HP, it is always denoted with theta and whenever angle with VP, it is always denoted with phi. So that's why I'll write over here, theta is equal to 45, phi is equal to 30. Okay, so and A is given that how much it is above HP and how much it is in front of VP. So in this case, it is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. So I can easily project my end A. Okay, so let's make a, let's forget about the question. Just make a projection of end A first. So take a line and you can start from anywhere. Okay, you can start from here. So above HP, it is 10. Okay, again take a line and in front of VP it is 15. So this is done. Okay, so this is a dash and this is a. Make a nomenclature here. So this is a dash. Make its text height more. So let's say 7. Okay, and make it selected towards the your point then make it copy and put over here then select this and remove the dash because it is a top view of end a okay so in this way i'll make the projection of my end a of line a b okay now i'm going to make a projection of b okay but you to project your end B, you should know how much B is away from HP and VP. So as per question, it is not given. But instead of that, the angle with HP and VP is given. Okay, so we have, so you see that this AB line, I cannot see from the front view as a true length, neither from the top view, I can see its true length. Because from both views, the line is inclined so i cannot see either true length from the front view and either from the top view so to do this question easy we have some steps to follow so these are my steps which are i am going to follow and perform this question easily and this method is called rotation method and this is these are the steps of the rotation method to draw the projections of these type of lines when line is inclined to both the principal planes okay so you have to follow these steps to complete your question and the steps is basically belongs to the rotation method of engineering drawing okay so you can here see here also this is rotation method to find the projection of lines so let's see how to do this thing so step one, it is said that rotate the line AB to make it parallel to VP. Okay, so this is AB line. What the step one says that 
make this angle exactly parallel to VP basically. Okay. So, how to make my line parallel to VP? It is, you know that to make your line parallel to VP, this angle should be 90 over here. So, if it is 90, then it will become your parallel to VP. So, rotate your line. So, I will rotate my line over here by fixing my end A. First of all, you must understand that your line AB, any end projector of line AB, let us suppose A, should be fixed over here and you rotate your line like, like this. So, so that your angle becomes 90 so and your AB line becomes parallel to VP. Okay. So let's and you if you remember the case when I give you a question about when line inclined with HP and parallel to VP. Okay, so you can understand that whenever you rotate your line like this, so it becomes only one inclination that is with HP. Okay, so by the first step, what I do is I make my line only inclined with HP and it makes parallel to VP. So by the help of this step, I can start my projection now because whenever you have only one inclination, let us let us say with only with HP. So you can see that true length from the front view. Okay, so let's take a line. So take a front view now. So this is my front view. So you can see that from the front view, I can see the complete true length and the, also the theta angle from with HP. Okay, so the line length is 60 mm. So I make like this 60 less than whatever the angle is that is 45. So you can see here that this is my line. Okay, so now this is a front view now whenever line is inclined with hp this is your front view but you have to complete your line as a top view also so whenever you see from the top view you will see the straight line and that line like like this know that okay so we'll take like this and this is done so this is a question when my line is inclined with HP only. Okay, if you remember in the previous previous video, I already discussed with you this case when line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. If you do not understand this thing, please go to the previous videos of that thing. I already I also put my link of that video in this in the description of this video. Okay, so please go and check it. So let's trim the unwanted parts. So I don't need this. So this is step one. This is done. Now step two. It states that rotate the line AB to make it parallel to HP. Okay, you can understand. This is just reciprocal of my step one. And that in the step one, I'll rotate my line parallel to VP. In the step two, I'll rotate my line AB. It is parallel to HP. Okay, now you know that whenever a line is parallel to HP and inclined with VP, you have to make top view first. Okay, so take a line, come over here and start with polar coordinate system. Length of line is 60, less than angle, whatever the angle is given, that is 30. So you can see that this angle is 30. Okay, now take a line. So this is your top view of line when your line is inclined with VP and parallel to HP. Now you have to complete your line means you have to draw its front view as well. Okay, so to draw the front view like this, again take a line like this. Hey, it's done. Now trim the unwanted part. Okay, so this this what I did now here is by with the help of step one and step two is I'll just first rotate my line parallel to VP. So I'll make like this. 
okay in the second step i'll rotate my line so that it becomes parallel to hp okay so if it has become parallel to hp i can see from the top your top view okay which is at an angle with vp which is 30 degree in this case so this is the 30 degree line okay so you can see here this line this line is the true length from the front view and top view okay now see the step three so step three is locus of end b in front view so what i'm doing here now is just make a line from your this point parallel to your xy line okay it is must be parallel to your xy line like this okay in the same way so step three has been over i'll make this line which is locus of my point b okay now locus of end b in the top view so again take a line come over here at the end of this one and make a locus line like here okay this is done so now you have to convert your lines as a locus line here so it is like this okay it is very important to note here these are the locus line as per convention of lines so you have to convert your lines like this now step four have been done now step five is draw the front view and top view okay so now here is why this method is called rotation method now i am going to tell you why it is called rotation method so see here so to let's make that front view first so you see here whenever you make a top view here with the help of inclination to vp the projection goes upwards okay now what i am doing here is now this parallel line to your xy line i'll rotate this line to towards your locus line i rotate this line towards your locus line okay and how i'll rotate it okay if i am using compass and making on the drawing sheet with the help of drafter or compass so i'll put my compass over here the steel part of the compass over here and pencil part on this tip and make an arc over here okay but i'm using autocad so instead of compass i'm going to use circle command because what is the use of compass to make the circles so i'll directly take circle over here and come to this side and stop over here okay so in this way i'll just rotate my this line like this i'll rotate my line like this and stop to the locus of the line so i am going to trim the extra part i don't need this 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 i don't need this i don't need and this i don't need okay so in this way i rotate my this parallel line to towards your locus line okay so now i'm going to join it in this way so you can understand this is your front view the actual front view or the apparent front view from the front side of your line a b in the same way you have to rotate this line towards your locus line to get the top view of the apparent length okay so again using circle put over here put over here so in this way what you did is i rotate my this line towards my locus line downside okay now i'll trim the extra part okay i'll make like this trim this and this is done okay now take a line and put it over here so you can see that this is my top view or the apparent top view of my line ab which is at an angle of 30 degree in the top side 45 degree in the this side 
okay so this is the completion of course turn okay now i'll make a nomenclature and should i i have to complete my nomenclature now i'll make like this copy i copy this one put over here put over here put over here and put over here okay so you know that this is b dash okay and this is b okay so a dash b dash is a front view a b is a top view so this is b 1 okay remember it b1 because it cannot be b dash because b dash is already here so it should be b1 make it subscript like this okay b1 dash in the same way this should be b2 b2 okay so this is b2 and make it subscript over here this is done very easy so you can see here this is done this is question has been done now i'm only just with the dimensions so take a dimensions of linear one this one and this one so you can see this is 10 again take a dimension this one and this one this is 15. okay now i'm rest with the dimension of the actual line so this one and this one okay i'll take some other okay i'm rest with the dimension of actual line take this one aligned this one and this one is 60 as per coaston so you can see here this is a coaston has been done with the help of rotation method you must give the angular dimension also so this is line this line 45 and this line this line 30 okay so this is theta which is 45 with hp this is phi this is with vp that is angle okay so what i am saying here that you should follow these steps to complete your questions okay i'll make again that first you have to rotate your line and make it parallel to vp okay if it is parallel to vp it means it is inclined with hp so first make that portion then afterwards make your line parallel to hp and if it is parallel to hp it remains inclined with vp so make that portion then okay then locus of end b in the front view so make these lines and these lines towards your end stretches of line a b and then just going to rotate your lines which are parallel towards your locus lines so with the help of that you can complete your question easily okay i hope you understand this question but before making these type of if you still do not understand how to do these things i suggest you i recommend you please go to the previous videos of the projection of lines when line is inclined to one of the principal plane and parallel to another only then you will understand this question easily okay 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 if you still have any query please comment in the comment section and if you like this video please like in the description okay thank you